when this enlightenment summit was contemplated to be organized on this august evening mr krishna reddy asked me to select a topic so at that particular moment exactly at that moment i was just thinking in my mind about the nature of truth and the nature of consciousness the paradoxical aspect of truth or the aspects of polarity regarding truth so i said my topic will be minus into minus is equal to plus i did not want to use any word or any type of communication verbatim which can describe the science of enlightenment or spirituality because for me language is a perennial barrier to speak the science of truth language is a perennial limitation to make one understand exactly what truth is the word language came from latin languor which means laziness language means laziness what is that we are all inherently born with certain spiritual qualities magnificent spiritual qualities each one of us same with plant and animal kingdom and mineral kingdom but the later three kingdoms because of its purity and undistilled uncontaminated loyalty to spirituality they retained the qualities of the science of spirituality but human beings we the human beings the word humus came from mud latin mud matter we are mud made of mud being a consciousness inside the mud that that's what we are made up of we the muddy beings dirty beings have lost the inherent abilities and have created something called as language no language is required for any ant to pick up its food to communicate with his fellow men they are very much telepathic in nature they send signals to the cosmos why we are not able to communicate in in a language of telepathy why we use so many languages there are said 5000 recognized languages by eno why just because of laziness we are very much lazy to find out the great abilities with which we are all born hence we have created the language so the topic i have chosen is minus into minus is equal to plus today i am not going to give you any data or any type of knowledge probably at the end of my speech what dr yugendra has spoken today nothing will be certainly rem- retained my attempt or effort will be providing a new perspective of thinking to provide a new dimension to the existing modes of thinking
תקשיבי. So, what is truth exactly? What is truth? Is it something which we arrive at? Is it something which is born as a product or result? After some series of experimentations? After a series of attempts? Is it a destiny? Is it a conclusion or inference? after a study that is being undertaken what is truth truth for me is a process it is not a product it is a process incessant process of becoming incessant process of unraveling incessant process of exploring it is a process it is never a product to be achieved but is what is happening in this mundane world spiritually mundane world i would like to add a new word create a new word new nomenclature spiritually mundane what is that everybody is using the word spirituality so much that it has become so heavy when if a question is put what is spirituality it is very difficult to answer what is that for me spirituality is a word which has to be replaced with a new word probably for the time being let me use the word understanding for me understanding the word understanding is superior to the word spirituality understanding is never a product so that makes me to use the word understanding in the place of the word spirituality understanding of what it is not understanding some plant science or science of engineering or science of body it is the science of one's own self it is the science of one's own life that understanding is a continuous process it can never be concluded but in the spiritually mundane world the so called most of the spiritual masters or spiritual leaders or spiritual book authors or spiritual businessmen spiritual scientists all these people have drawn conclusions and promulgating the same imposing the same with so much of authority as if that is the end as if that is the destination spirituality is something which can never be taught impossible same with meditation meditation can never be taught the method or tool or technique can be introduced how can a meditative state of mind can be induced or introduced to any person it has to happen with self discovery with inner exploration it can never happen by way of practicing a habitual ritual so we have to think are we truly alive is our consciousness really holistic our whole our full complete are we here in this physical body our consciousness is fractured we are living with a set of fragmented consciousness we are lacking the absolute holistic consciousness why because we don't know what is that we are not aware of that we are not making any attempts of exploration 
at any given moment we are thinking of hundreds and hundreds of thought simultaneously when we need to at this particular moment we need to listen why are we thinking of hundreds and hundreds of things which are not relevant which are not rewarding at this particular moment why because we are not qualitative beings spiritually qualitative beings 